In this class, we are going to learn how we can update a business object which is present in Oracle Visual Builder with the help of Oracle integration. In order to begin with, we need to first of all create a business object. Now, let me head over to Visual Builder instance and create a business object first. I have opened this learning VBCS application. So, under this application, I will go for business objects. We already have three business objects. But for this demonstration, I will be creating a business object which will hold the details for employees leave application or leave record. Click on plus create over here and select business object. Under label, I am giving the name as leave application. If you want, you can put the suffix as vo as well at the end as we didn't add for other business objects. I am not adding. But it's always a good practice to end any business object label with bo. Click on create. Our live application business object has been created. Now we need to define few fields. Click on this fields option over here. By default, those fields will be auto created. Now in order to create our new fields, click on this plus and select this field. First, we will try to capture employee ID. It is of string type. Click on create field. Next, we need the field to hold the date. Let me select this of type this date leave start date click on create field next we need the leave end date suppose if the person is applying for the duration of this for a leave then we can hold when the leave will start and when the leave will end let me give the name as leave end date this is of type date again click on create field Again, we need to create one more field over here that is for the approver. I am giving approver 1. Suppose our approver 1 is a manager, approver 2 is HR. So, we will consider this approach. Click on create field. Next, we will create approver 2. Approver 2. At extreme cases, suppose if a person is applying for a maternity or paternity leave, in that case, if the hierarchy of the organization is such that the leave must be approved by manager and HR, then this will be for that purpose. Click on create field. We do have this employee ID field. We have leave start date, end date, approver 1, approver 2. Now we will create few more fields over here. Under labels, I will add status in order to know what happened to our application. Suppose I applied the leave application today. As this is not synchronous, different approvers might approve the request as and when they are available or as per their feasibility. So, we need to know as a user or an initiator of the application, what is the status of the leave request. For this purpose, I am adding over here the status field. Click on create field. We are done with the adding details. Now, let me select this status field. When the leave application is created for the first time, it won't hold the status. In that case, I want to set it to some default value. So, we need to select the static value. I am providing here the details like NA. It looks like I have made the spelling mistake over here in the approver name. So, let me correct it. App rover. Done just about. Yeah, it got corrected. Now, switch over to this data. What we will do is we won't add this data manually by clicking on this plus row or by importing the file. Rather, we will make use of endpoint. Before consuming this endpoints in our integration we will first test with the help of postman now let me switch over postman and create a project which will insert the record into our business object i have created the postman project wherein i have made use of this endpoint if you have forgotten how we can make use of the endpoint go to endpoints here in the business object so this will be our endpoint or the host name we can get from this if we are making use of development if your application is staged then we can make use of this url if our application is published or it's live then we can make use of this url so after adding that we can just append this live application slash and make use of post in order to create so this is what i have used if i show you the url it looks something like this that is what i have shown just now slash live application and in the body this is of http method post and the body contains employee id who is applying for the leave leave start date end date approver 1 and approver 2 just for the demonstration purpose i am adding it over here 
but this should come dynamically from some database or some application like who is our manager it should be pulled dynamically based on our employee id or our project assignment now let me switch over to this instance and click on data as of now we don't have any details here in the live application i will click on this send button we got 201 created and if you just look at the response you will get the details now let me refresh it over here if i refresh i am getting the details for live application so like this we can test with the postman now let's switch over to oracle integration and see how we can update this business object with the help of rest api using integration i am here in the oracle integration instance before proceeding we need to create a connection let's switch over to connections tab over here click on create I will search with rest, select this rest connection, click on select, provide the name rest OIC con, I will name this as role, I am selecting trigger and you know, click on create. I will pause the video over here and fill all the details and then we will resume this class. I have filled all the details in this connection, connection type I have selected as rest API base URL TLS version 1.2 and connection url i have provided up to dot com which is my visual builder host address ssl i have made it as enabled s and the basic authentication username password agent group null that's it just exit this connection after creating the connection we will head over to integrations tab and create the integration i will create app driven integration for this demonstration click on app driven click on select leave application update status click on create here in the trigger connection i am selecting my rest yc connection provide the name i am giving as trigger click on next what does this operation do? This will update the status of leave application. Click on post. Endpoint I will give as update status. So this will accept the request and as well as it will send the response back. Click on next. Request payload I am selecting JSON sample. Click on inline. Here let me copy the same thing from here, from the request and paste it over here. Apart from this, I will put status as well. Yeah, looks good. Click on OK. Click on Next. In the response, I will add this JSON sample. Click on Inline. I will construct the message over here. So in the response, I want to display the message along with status and the status i will just rearrange this i want status to be at the top followed by message done click on ok click on next and click on done I will change the layout style to horizontal. Just click on save. There is the error over here. I will update the tracking variable for this. Go to tracking. Just toggle the employee ID to the right. Click on save. Save the integration. Now the next step after getting the request from the trigger is to make a call to visual builder business object rest api and update the details we will do that now before proceeding ahead we let's look at the endpoint how we can update the record in the business object i'm switching over to this application go to endpoints scroll down so in order to update any record or the leave application which is created we need to go for this patch and update here we need to pass the leave application id if we go to fields leave application id is nothing but let's go to data 
it is this field id not the employee id so we need to have the provision to send id as well in the request so let me head over to this integration and modify the trigger so in the request apart from employee id let's assume that the source application will pass id as well now go to this request go to inline here we'll add leave leave application id 3 done click on ok click on next click on next and done click on update now as soon as you modify any trigger connection your tracking variable data will be gone now let's consume this visual builder rest api with this rest oic con i will name this as update status of leave from the http method i am going to select this patch while creating the connection we had provided uri up to here that is host address now we are going to provide the details for the relate to uri minimize this i have already copied at the end apart from leave application we should pass leave application template parameter go to endpoints scroll down that is this one let me copy this from here and paste it at the end within the flower brackets done so we need to configure a request payload for this endpoint select that and we'll configure this endpoint to receive the response as well click on next specify the query parameter we don't have any query parameter but leave application id is a template parameter or the path parameter click on next from the schema we need to select the json click on inline and we'll provide the sample json over here i have already created postman project for this let me copy and paste it over here it will be same like how we created the details in business object click on next and the response again will copy from postman copy select json sample click on inline and paste it over here click on ok click on next and done let me save the integration now we need to map whatever details we get from the trigger over here edit this mapper enable developer and xslt mode first of all we need to pass the template parameter just drag this leave application id and map it to leave application id under template parameters validate next comes mapping other details like employee id leave start date leave end date approver 1 approver 2 and the status basically we will use this integration to update approver 1 like whether he has updated or not approver 2 has updated or not and finally the status and a means not approved a means approved click on validate mapper click on close so we won't validate the response what we get from this patch api we will always assume this to be success now i will map here always the success in the response expand this request wrapper right click create node status i want this to be as s message is always success but in actual or real life scenario you might need to track the status written by patch you need to check the status code that is http status code whether it's 200 or not based on that you need to carry out some business operations close the mapper if you see it over here there is a tracking variable error i will add the tracking variable i will add this leave application as my business identifier 
you can save I will save this integration and activate the integration. We will resume this after that. I have activated this integration. Let me test this integration. Click on run and test. We thank all our subscribers and viewers for showing interest in watching our videos which we post over YouTube regularly. Here is the appeal from our side. If you have liked any of our content, please support us by buying us a coffee. I will provide the link to buy us a coffee in the description of this video. When you click on the buy me coffee link, it will take you to this screen wherein you can opt for the coffees like one coffee is equivalent to one dollar. You can select one, three, five and you can customize the coffees what you want to offer to us. Also, we do have a membership program. Click on this membership tab over here and you can opt for the membership and you can watch out the benefits what you get for each membership. For more details, you can anytime come over here and watch out the details. Also, you can have a look at our courses on Udemy. We are having two courses on Udemy. One is learn integration in Oracle integration from scratch. Also, we do have a course on Oracle Visual Builder that is to learn from scratch. Once again, we would like to thank you. If you have not subscribed our channel previously, please do subscribe our channel and please support us. Go to body. Here in our case, our live application is three. First, I will try to update the approver once details let me remove everything from here i don't want to update any other details for this leave application only approver one i want to update this to approved click on test i got status as success let me switch over to this business object go to data click on refresh if you see it over here all the details whatever were present over here got wiped off we don't have any details present only our id and approved is available now let me go back to this integration and populate other details as well now let me hit on this test button before that let me make this approver 2 as approved approver 1 as also approved and status i will make as a Click on test. Click on refresh. If you see now the details is showing as approver 1 has approved, approver 2 has approved and the status is A. So like this we can update visual builder business object with the help of rest APIs from Oracle integration.